this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about skating forwards. I'm Katie, and you're watching Skatey! The most important thing is to get you moving for the first time. I showed a really good way of getting you moving in a previous video where we start with the snake pattern and we go to marching which then gets us to stroke skating. So have a look at that video, we're going to put a link to that for you. The only thing I will mention is that snake pattern isn't for everyone. So I'm going to show you an alternative to snake pattern which some people might find a bit easier. The alternative to snake pattern, because snake pattern isn't for everybody. So it's essentially the same as a snake, but we're going to use one foot. So if you imagine a skier going down a slalom, this is the sort of action we're going to be creating. So I'll show you how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do essentially a snake pattern on one foot, but we're going to put all the pressure on your instep and your big toe and make a semicircle. And then you're going to do the same again. And again. There we go, so all your weight is on the inside of your skate. And then from here, you can do the marching with your feet turned out the same as before. A quick reminder about our body position. So you've got your center line, you wanna keep everything balanced and you wanna bend your knees, keep your shoulders square and your arms out for balance. A few tricks that I can show you to help you improve your balance. Now the first one is balancing on one foot. So whatever you're going from a snake pattern or from stroke skating, you're going to keep your weight central, get some speed up and then you're going to hold. Arms out, shoulders straight and don't forget to do it on both feet. Try and count to five if you can. Now, the more you do this, the better your stroke skating is going to be and also it's going to be easier to stop. So practice, practice, practice and everything will come together. Another trick to help you with your balance is when you feel a wobble, a really good way of doing it is to almost do it intentionally. So if you're standing still, intentionally lean forward, touch your toes or touch your knees, and feel it, feel the weight shift and that will help you to deal with the wobbles. Also you can practice this moving. So to practice it moving you can either go from a snake pattern or your stroke skating, balance, soft knees. This should really help control this sort of wobble. people talk about the T-push and this is great because you've got this back foot here turned out to give you a push but it's really hard to get going from that so what I say is do your snake or your slalom and get a bit of speed and then once you start stroke skating you're going to turn this back foot out and that is what's going to give you all your speed Way of cornering is the crossovers which are a great way to get you around a corner they can also help you to gain lots of speed and it's basically where you put the one foot over the other the one thing with this is you need to be careful is to not get your wheels locked inside each other but I will show you what I mean and the safe way to do it a crossover you need to think of it as putting one foot in front so this foot that's on the outside goes in front and then this foot goes beside so you need to be really careful that when you bring this foot through, it comes through close to the skate and in front, together. You don't want this foot to swing out because it's going to knock you off a of balance. So we're going to do through, in front, together. In through, in front, together. Now you want your arms facing into the circle. So if you imagine there's an imaginary circle, 
your arms are going to be on the circle and remember our pushing so we push in front together push in front together push in front together you need to make sure that this foot always goes in front not beside because that's when you get your wheels locked together and we're practicing falling again arms knees soft push in front together there's a little trick with crossovers where you can get an extra push so i'm going to show you the extra push so we do the same as before and we cross here but when we lift this foot we're going to do that and push let me show you so push cross push together push cross and then push that foot away push 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 that way you're going to get so fast it's going to be great fun now this is my favorite bit of skating cruising so you've got your earbuds in you've got your balance you've got your speed you've got your slalom going you've got your crossovers and this is where you can really relax and just have a great skate and just enjoy yourself. So this is where it all starts to come together. So I'm gonna do a couple of crosses here, then a couple in this direction, then a slalom and a one foot hold and you're happy rolling. thing to mention with cruising is that the constant stroke skating can get really tiring so what I do is I sit on my hips so you know when you kind of stand like this and you slouch you feel your body sit on your hips so I do the same thing when I'm skating so I'll sit back on one hip and then I'll just kind of wiggle my feet so you're still moving but it takes a lot less effort so rather than stroke skating like this for a really long time it can get very tiring so what I tend to do is I sit back on my hips and then you can just kind of wiggle and it's so much easier and much more relaxing. <laughs> I hope this video has really helped to improve your forward skating, giving you some more confidence and some more speed. I'll see you next time. Happy rolling. One thing that's going to massively help your skating is to get some... There's a bug. If you imagine you're on a bike spike... Bleh. So, forwards. We've done... We... I think I'm under pressure this time because the first one was really good. And now I'm just like, oh God. Okay.